washing machines are usually the best place to start with gray water because they produce a lot of water. They also have an internal pump, so they're already pumping the gray water somewhere. So you can use that pump to have it put the gray water where you want it. Any other fixture, you're going to have to work with gravity or you're going to have to have an, an extra pump, which is not ideal. This is a front loader, so it uses about 10 to 15 gallons of load as opposed to a top loader, which is 30 to 50. So this is a water efficient washing machine. This is the drain from the washer and it used to just go straight into this utility sink and that goes to the sewer. And so usually this in your house is either going to a utility sink or it's sticking into a standpipe but it's never like hard plumb. So these are really easy. You just physically remove it from wherever it was and you can change it. So here we're sending it into this three-way valve. And so when it's turned this direction, it's going that way, which is outside to the gray water system. If we turn it this way, it now will go this way to the sewer. So just by turning it, I can you know, decide if I want to use the gray water outside or if I want it to go to the sewer. And you know, maybe you have a load of dirty diapers or you want to bleach your clothes or you just bought you know, new clothes that are leaking lots of dye and you don't want that to go out to the yard, then you can just send it back to the sewer. So it comes out of the house. You have to drill a small hole in your house. You do have the option to go out a window, but here we, you know, just a small hole. This is a, called an auto vent and it creates an air gap. So if there's air in the system, it, it lets air, it vents the system. This is one inch pipe and the one inch size is really important for the washer system because this is a pressurized system and we want to keep the pressure of the pump, but we don't want to add a lot of extra stress on the pump. So one inch is the ideal size. If it, was too, if it was smaller than one inch, it would add too much friction. If it was larger, you would lose that pressure. So when the water comes out, it's being pumped. It comes down here and then we transition into, this is also one inch and this is the polyethylene, the HDPE piping, which we use into the landscape. Here we have two different lines. So right now it's going to this line. If I open this valve, I can actually have a different gray water line. So I can have two different zones that are irrigated separately. So that allows me to one week I'll water the raspberry patch and the next week I'll water this line of plant. So I can switch in between. One of the lines goes and waters this whole bed of raspberries. There's about five different um, places where the water pumps out into this bed of raspberries. The water just pours out there onto the straw. You want it to be a little bit above the ground so roots don't grow up into it and clog it. But you want it to not be like putting water onto the part of the plant you're going to eat. So it's going right over the straw mulch. We've never watered these ever with fresh water. They've gotten gray water their whole lives. And they're very happy. They love the gray water. The other line goes down this run of yard. This is all buried. So all you see is like where the water's coming out. It's a one inch line going through and there's these half inch little spurs coming out. We add these little ball valves on so you can adjust the flow. This plant that doesn't need as much water and it's also at the beginning of the line so more water comes out here than way down the line so we just have this partially closed. Eventually this will clog with lint so I'll just open it all the way and let the water just pour out and if there's any clogging it'll you know unclog it. It's funny, so you get lint from the laundry. Yeah, it's landing on mulch. This is a lemon tree, and it's there's a ring dug around it that's filled with the wood chips and the mulch, and so the gray water lands onto the mulch and soaks down into the ground. So there's another one right there. Another one going to the kiwi. Usually one of the challenges with gray water with gravity is it's hard to really spread it out to get it to where the plants, but with this washer system, you can really get a lot of flexibility in how you're spreading it out. So it takes, you know, very minimal maintenance. Like just right now was my maintenance. I just, you know, scraped away the wood chips. They've kind of built up around the emitter. You can see that it's open. There's no drip irrigation. It's a half inch, like full, just, you know, can come out right there. The materials are really easy to work with. Yeah. None of this is glued. The great thing about this one inch HDPE, the one inch polyethylene tubing is it's really, really easy to work with. You can just cut it with a little saw. You just push the things together. It's very easy. Inside the house, you do need to glue and make sure there's not going to be any leaking. But outside, if your gray water system has a drip, it's like you're, you brought it out here to water anyway, so it doesn't matter if there's a drip here or there. 